Aloha Chair Martin, uh, Vice Chair Anderson, and the Consul. Uh, for the record, my name is H. Doug Matsuok. I'm with the Hawaii Guerrilla Video Hui. I strongly oppose the endless uh, slew of bills criminalizing homelessness, specifically Bills 42, 43, 45, 46, and now 48. Um, I submitted written testimony, and I won't be uh, repeating it at, at this point, uh, except to say that I've documented and seen firsthand the midnight raids on the homeless. I say midnight raids, but usually they're at 2 a.m. and 4 a.m., and I've witnessed HPD and city crews taking and destroying uh, bedding, tents, clothing, food uh, from the people on the sidewalk. I, I do have a few words to read, however, uh, and this is going to be a quote. We need to find a better way to help Oahu's homeless population, including, including those who deal with mental health issues or addictions. The Housing First model focuses on providing shelter first before addressing other issues a person may have. Once housed, the person may take, then take advantage of social services available on site. This approach has worked well in many mainland cities and is worthy of our attention. These aren't my words. These are the words for candidate for mayor, Kirk Caldwell. Now, Chair Martin, on June 12th, the mayor, now as mayor and not candidate, sent you a, uh, and the council a message containing drafts of bills 42 and 43 uh, that would criminalize the homeless and subject them to up to a $1,000 fine and 30 days in jail. So I need to ask, when did Satan get a hold of this guy's heart, you know? And why are you guys helping him? I'm serious about this. The, the mayor's message to the council says, and I'm reading it, with the council's support, I anticipate that together we can make significant improvements for our Waikiki businesses, workers, and visitors. The mayor does not mention the public or even the residents of Honolulu, let alone the homeless. These bills are clearly not for public good. They're for boosting the profit of tourist industry corporations. Now, for as long as I can remember, and everyone else here who's a local person, they can, uh, they'll agree with me, that we've been hearing that we have to take care of the tourist industry. But you know what? Think about it. It's the tourist industry that has to take care of us. That's why we tolerate them here. The tourist industry has failed in this. The more money the tourist industry makes, the more homeless people are on the sidewalk. In the past five years, as the tourist industry has grown to enjoy record revenue and profits, the homelessness has grown 30% in that same period of time. Now, like everyone else, I have friends in the tourist industry and who make money off of it, like, like Dave back here. And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to put them down, but you know, I'm an old guy, I understand, and I've always done what I need to do to get by. But has it come to this? You know, are we gonna throw members of the community in jail because they can't afford housing in the most expensive place to, to find housing. Uh, just the other day, the median cost of a single family home hit $700,000, okay? Why are there people on the sidewalk? Um, now, I'm going to remind you guys, and you're not gonna like it, that politics is supposed to be a public service, you know? Um, uh, it's your duty to serve the people, not the tourist industry. Those guys are rich. They can hire their, their own guys. You guys are supposed to work for us, you know? So I exhort you to cast off your indenture to corporate, corporate profitability. Your duty is to, the, to serve the public. So do not criminalize the poor. Do your duty and kill these bills. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Remember, any, any questions, questions for the testifier? No questions. Thank you, sir.